Overnight closures might also be needed to finalize the, to the repairs, so we will keep you posted right here on KHON2 and on the radio at AM 1500. Ross and Christine, back to you. Thank you, Chris. As we've been mentioning, it is the first day back to school, and tens of thousands of kids in Hawaii are getting a fresh start with some new changes. Dallas Antaveras joins us from the downtown area with all the details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christiane Ross. Yes, it's been an exciting day here for the first day back to school. And here joining us is band teacher Jeff Oshiro. Good morning, Jeff. How's it going? Good morning, Dallas. So this is pretty exciting for you because not only is it the first day back to school, but you're starting your 31st <laughs> year of teaching. Yep. That is amazing. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a crazy ride, actually. Has it been only here at this school or other schools? Uh, yes, this is my one and only school I've taught at. Wow. So how amazing is that to see a fresh batch of kids every year, year after year? Um, it's always exciting. You know, it's, um, you, it keeps me young. Yeah. It keeps me on my toes. Uh -huh. um, but always seeing when they come in, they're kind of anxious a little bit. Yeah. But to see them grow, and I'm fortunate, I get to see them grow from 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. Yeah. Point, so I get to see it for three years. And something that we both have in common, too, that we were really geeking out is that we're both musicians. I was in band since fourth grade, so I was a clarinet, saxophone, did the concert, yeah. uh, marching band, jazz band. I mean, it's just so amazing on what music can really teach you. It really changes your life, right? Yeah, de definitely. Yeah. You know, so, um, yeah, like the, the elective classes, yeah. fine arts, visual arts, um, sports, PE, yeah. you know, they really allow the kids um, uh, they give them a well-balanced education, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But um, the experience you get outside of class, the performances, mm -hmm. the games and stuff, that, that's really, um, it really helps them with the, uh, the social emotional thing, yeah. bonding, socializing. Uh, camaraderie yeah and you know something like band is such a great outlet for anyone who is dealing with sort of some sort of a mental health issue or maybe has need some help with their emotions you can really put it in the music mm -hmm. so my best advice for all those parents out there and even for the kids who are watching join band oh, because it's okay. something that you're not going to regret absolutely yeah <laughs> anything else you want to share last few words before we get into um, the school year no just it's so great to be back in person yeah. um, less restriction so um, hopefully we can build back the program because we we have to limit enrollment because yeah. of spacing okay so hopefully we can get back and get everybody back in in um, in, the in, band room. in a banner yeah, yeah for sure definitely well I just want to say congratulations for teaching over 30 years here at this beautiful school I'm sure there's a lot of students and, and families who are so appreciative of you and people just like you so we're so excited to hear what's next for you guys oh thank you should be a great year it is going to be a great year. And we got one more. We have actually a couple more interviews coming up in our Take Two show. But if you want some more details on what to expect for this upcoming school year, you can visit our website at kh12.com. Reporting out here at the scene, Dallas Navarro's KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you very much, Dallas. And thank you to Mr. Oshiro, 31 years. Let the music play.